Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to tell you how to use Google Free Jamboard to easily collaborate with your students by teaching online in Google Meet, Google Classroom, Zoom, etc. It can also be used as an online assessment tool. So, let us see how to create and use Google Free Jamboard. First of all, open Google Chrome. Click here to open your Google Drive. So here I am in my Google Drive. Just click here to create a new document. But in this case, I don't want to create Google Document, Google Sheets, Google Slides, Google Forms. So I will move down and create Google Jamboard. When I click, it opens up a canvas for me to use and share things with my students. So the first thing I'm going to do is the title of my Jamboard. I can just click here and rename my Google Jamboard. So I'm going to create an activity on verbs. And then OK. And now with the document named, I can come down and design what I want my students in this case to see. I would say the first thing to think about is what do you want the background to look like when your students see the screen. So if I click here on background, you will notice I can switch it to be a whiteboard, dots, blue lines, blue graph, gray graph, blue board, blackboard or you can also upload an image if you want. I am keeping to go with blue board. Now at first glance the Jamboard software might remind you a little bit of Google Slides. But try not to think of it that way. This is not a traditional presentation. Instead think of each screen that we are going to create as a Google Jamboard for an interactive experience with your students. So the first option comes up with a pen. When you click here on pen, you can write or draw something you want. Now if you don't like the color that it comes up, you can just click here on pen. Again, you will get different colors to choose from. You can choose different colors as well, you can also select marker highlighter brush The second option comes up with an eraser. You can erase things if you want. Now, if you don't want this to be in our Google Jamboard, you can directly clear frame. The third option here is select. When you click on select, you can select things on your Google Jamboard. Fourth option is sticky note that we are going to use in our Google Jamboard. The fifth option is image. You can click here on image and here you are getting various options to select your image. You can upload from your device. You can use the URL to select the image. You can use your camera to get the image. You can search the image in Google. You can use it from your Google Drive. As well, you can use it from your Google Photos. So I'm going to upload an image from my device. Now I can customize the image just I will click on select and then I will select this image and I can drag it make the size of the image more bigger and then I can set the image as per my choice. Now if you want to rotate you can rotate when you click on this three dot you can make a duplicate copy or else you can delete the image. You can also change the order by clicking on order. You can send the image back. See, you can see the image is back. 
you can bring the image forward now i'm going to delete this image so we have uploaded an image sixth option comes up here is shapes when you click on this shapes you can find different shape that you want so i will see rounded rectangle and then i can draw the image i am using as a title of this activity even you can fill colors in the image seventh option comes up with a text box when you click on the text box you can add text wherever you want so let us say find verbs you can keep the size of this text display title subtitle normal or caption however you want you can keep the size of the text so you can see when you click on display the size will become like display title subtitle normal and then caption now i am going to keep as a title you can also change the color of your text now i don't want this background color to be as blue so i will change it and then text i will change the color okay fine now let us see the third option that is sticky notes so when you click on sticky note you can add a note whatever you want so the first image shows up is catch i will write the answer and then save you can also change the color of the sticky note again if you want to write anything in your sticky note you can write so the second option is hold and then you can change the color if you want and then see now i am going to cancel it and i want my students to fill this so i can click here and then i can drag it and place it on the right same thing i will select this and then drag and bring it on the right place on the upside of the image now when you click on the sticky note you will find the three dots if you want if you have done a mistake you can edit it you can make a duplicate copy of it you can delete it also you can change the order of your sticky note you can send backward or you can send it back wherever you want so now i will delete this i want my student to fill this three image the last option comes up is the laser button when you click on laser button you can directly mark an attention on certain image suppose you are teaching first option that is catch you can mark the attention and the interesting thing is that when you release the marking will easily be removed now you are if you are teaching second image that is hold you can mark it and then you can teach to your student that this image is hold next one is throw and the fourth one is bounce so think of a jam board as a collaborative space in which you and your student can post information and share information with each other it is also great for some activities like this each student on their own device could go and type answers of their wish and they can drag and put the words on the side of the screen where they belong as you are using the google jamboard software you can also click here on the top instead of just clicking on the left or right to create the next frame 
if i want if you want to switch to the previous screen you can go it when you are done using the google jamboard you can click here on the three dots on the right side and download it as a pdf save frame as an image you can also remove this jamboard if you want same activity on your another class you can make a copy and keep it for other classes so that is how you can record the contribution of different students and of ideas that we generated if you are going to use the same join board with multiple groups of student you may want to do before you actually share it so you can make a copy of this and share with different classes that you want that is the way we can keep separate and each class to have their own collaborative experience with the google jamboard or else if you want this as an offline assessment you can paste the link in whatsapp group and then paste the link and send in your class group now when the student click on this link they will be directed to your activity of google jamboard and then students can easily write the answers they want they will go on the sticky note and write the second answer that is hold if they want they can change the color and then save it next option that is through and the fourth option that is bounce and then save now they can cancel it and then they can drag it and bring it on the proper place you can also make the size of this bigger if you want or even smaller if you want you can also rotate this sticky notes change the color so i hope you can see some potential in way you could use the free google jamboard software in your school thanks for watching i hope you have found this tutorial to be helpful if you did please like comment and subscribe to my channel